Okay, this is from Carrie in North Carolina. Oh, hello, Carrie. I'd like to understand my experience I'm having with pain. Pain, I have, okay. I had painful headaches that became an all-day, everyday occurrence, which has changed to just pain in my left side of my head by my ear with increased sensitivity to noise and occasional headaches. I'm currently exploring the idea about just being. I'm sitting with my dog who's super active and trying to get him settled down and relaxed. And while I'm trying to teach him a relaxed state, I myself had a realization about how I don't, <clears throat> I don't do that myself very often. And in exploring myself doing that, I also realized how much it brought me into the now. A place that felt like I was just accepting of all that is my truth and owning it. It's kind of a beautiful but painful feeling. Any connection? Yeah, well, it sounds like you're doing a, a lovely progression. You know, and we're reminded of you calling into the radio program and Veronica witnessing that same thing to you, that you're, in the old days, you used to ask us a question and wait for us to answer. Now you state your case, tell us how you've changed, and then say, okay. <laughs> And we get to chime in. That's a big difference. And you should give yourself major kudos for that. Because you're seeing the unfolding of you. And you're asking to be witnessed in it. More than you're asking us a question. Let's watch it move stuff there. Let's watch it move stuff for sure. The flow through the awareness this is how we see it go. Awareness, temptation into habit, correction, course correction out of habit, dealing with the rub up against the survival instinct fears and, and oh gods, don't try that. It's new. It's scary. It's new. Okay. Course correction again. And then into a space of neutral observation. Once you get into neutral observation, be really careful that you don't look for habit and survival instinct to keep you company. Because you already went past them on your journey, right? We did this, we did this. The companionship of neutral observation is insight. The companion in neutral observation is insight. Not habit and not survival instinct. And then you get insight, right? And then you go th again, insight. And then what did we say earlier? You're going to allow it move, not force it move, not do to get, but allow to get how fascinate to get. You're going to rub up against habit, temptation. You're going to rub up against survival instinct. It's like those bobsled guys, right? Mm -hmm. They do, they go fast if they don't hit the walls. If they hit the walls, it slows them down, right? That's what it feels like to us because it really feels like we just, just as Carrie was explaining that, we were watching her energy. And if you imagine this is the straight path in using our bobsled thing, the, the fastest time. And every time you bump a wall of habit, temptation, static, fear, or you bump in this wall, which is the whole, the survival instinct saying, don't get big, don't take the risk. You know, the whole gain weight to, st to stay protected, protect yourself. Don't bring what we talked to Joseph about, bring all that baggage to this moment, right? And then every time you course correct back into the center and you start moving with that rapidity, then the temptation is to look for the walls to tell you your boundaries, tell you who you are, give you some structure in your life. Instead of staying with the exhilaration and the new of not hitting the walls, takes some wherewithal because that is so different than the bump, 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 bump path. And it picks up speed. And the picks up speed in this case is kind of like what we were talking about Syria and Germany about, about, you know, you can say, you know, you got a little break on your bob car. You don't have to hit the wall to break. You can break with your break. And as you flow, you might hit the walls every once in a while, but you don't go all the way down the track, which is how like a level two person wants to live life, just dragging on one track. It's a good visual and Carrie's, Carrie showed it to us because we could see her doing this sort of swaying thing and then that just reminded Veronica of the bobsled and it's actually a really good visual for how 
you know, you guys tend to want this or want that to give you, what does that give you? It gives you familiar suffering, right? Tucks you in tight. It's like a swaddle. <laughs> Swaddles you in, that familiar suffering. And when you don't have that swaddle, you can move your arms, you move your legs. <laughs> and the survival instinct says, keep your arms and legs inside the car at all times. And you're like, but it's more fun <laughs> to do it this way. <laughs> We're just running with this whole example. We're going to take it all the way to the bank. Yeah. That's a really good one to think about, you know, and, and then if you feel like your bobsled's going too fast, you can slow it down. And, and at some point you don't have to plan, prepare, resist, try not to hit the sides. The sides stop being relevant because they stop being something that either defines you or makes you feel comfortable, right? Cause when it's that familiar suffering, it's giving you definition. Here's the limitation you've learned to live within. And here's the fear that you're used to feeling as you drag along the side. And soon, you know, that's like the 258 thing we were talking about, levels 258, is if you start to realize that level five, this trigger is mine, can be like a home base for you rather than level two being a home base victimhood. You don't need those sides anymore. You don't need the sides. And familiar suffering becomes claustrophobic rather than swaddly. And the straight flow down the track, that exhilaration, instead of it telling you, you don't know what's coming next, you should be afraid, plan, 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 seek an outcome, all that stuff we talk about, it becomes a, f a, a fascinating exploration it facilitates a fascinating exploration of this moment, this moment, this moment, this moment. With the awareness that whatever's next, I have skills and tools and resources to handle. It's not like I have to resist or be in fear of whatever's next. And that's sometimes what happens is you guys are like, I won't be able to handle it. And that's why we say step by step, just like the bobsled. It doesn't get to the bottom unless it's gone through the rest of it. <laughs> right? Step by step by step by step. And if you're thinking about the bottom, here's a perfect one. If the bobsled guy is thinking about the finish line, it's not going to go pretty well for him in turn number four or whatever the turn is, you know, on the Olympics where they're like, oh dear, he's in turn number four. Half the people have crashed, right? <laughs> you got to be in that moment. You got to be in that moment to make that turn on the bobsled. And it's a really good mental exercise to be in that same place of like, if you're thinking about the outcome, or if you're thinking about too much of the track at one time, it's going to be really hard for you to navigate the turn you're in. They do have a break. The break of free will. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we got. We've uh, been going... Uh, oh, that'd be good if we were done. We'll, we'll end on that one. That was a good one. That's a good place to stop anyway. And so when you're, when you're thinking about habit static, baggage, survival instinct, fear, outcome. There's probably more, but that's enough. Imagine that being the walls on the bobsled run. And every time you fall for it, you're dragging against the side. And every time you say, I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to drag on the wall, but I'm not going to. I'm tempted to, right? That's how the I'm tempted to fits in. Short factual, uh, not short factual statement, step by step is I'm going to pay attention to this turn because this is the one I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. That's plenty. Mm -hmm. That'll let be people stuff to chew on for a while. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it's always such fun to do the Q&A with you guys and especially this time because we had to keep going with the nose. <laughs> That was exciting. You got to sneeze. Oh, and there was a sneeze involved too. And we're going to let Veronica take over and let her be the expert on the body and do the things that need to be done so that we'll be perky for uh, Wednesday. <coughs> we hope you'll all join us. Uh, you can come on the same live thing, live streamy thing, and we'll be here. And Veronica's going, I don't think I set it up yet. So it'll be there. <laughs> she will do it. <laughs> And we hope that you will consider coming to the retreat, hanging out with us for three days and seeing what extraordinary things that we can achieve together as far as your personal transformation goes. We'll be there. We're showing up full speed. All right. Goodbye, everyone.